Hey, Tony Gaskins here, Car Chronicles. Been a while since it's Car Chronicles, but um, I'm out today in my car, um, with my wife's car, just kind of thinking and praying and wanting to pop in, shoot a little video. I, I got a lot of comments and messages from ladies, um, just really kind of expressing you know, it, it, it's two mindsets. You have one mindset that is grateful and just can process the knowledge that the things I share on the channel can process it and grateful for it and it builds confidence. Then you have the other mindset that it dampens their spirit and they feel stressed and worried and like they've lost all hope and there's no hope for love and marriage and so it just kind of goes to show you the difference in in people and the minds and how it's almost the difference between success and failure the difference between abundance and scarcity it's just really those people chose a different mindset but you can have two people that look just alike and come from the same place and have the sh same shake at life, but get two totally different results in life. And it really just comes down to how they chose to respond to the information life gave them. And um, so I want to tell you, you know, when you understand about men or vice versa, don't let it change you in a negative way. I remember my dad used to always tell me, he'd say, look, what I tell you is for you. Don't go tell your friend that I that my daddy said, you look like you steal and I need to watch you. It's like, don't go tell your friend that because that information I gave you is for you. You act the same way with your friend, but now you know, pay attention and watch him closely. And I remember my daddy told me that. And I remember one time one of my friends came over and I we having a good time. We playing ball, we hanging out, everything great. And I ain't treat him no differently. I just treat him. He's from another state, from New Jersey. We in Florida. We hung out. He went in my room to change clothes. And when he came out the room, he had his shirt off and he had on his shorts. But up under his shorts, I saw some black shorts. And I saw the kind of the threading, the pattern on the shorts. And I was like, hey, those my and one shorts. He was like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, I just had, I had put those on, man. I had those on, forgot to take them off. And then we went to a game one time weeks later and one of my other homeboys from our school had an and one hat on. I was like, hey, where you get that hat from? He was like, oh, I got that from Larry. I was like, hey, that's my hat. The boy had then came to my house, hung out with me, went in my room, stole my shorts, stole my hats because I had a lot of stuff. You know, my parents, they took good care of me. My daddy made sure I had whatever I wanted, whatever I needed. And we weren't rich or nothing, but my parents sacrificed for me. And I had a lot of stuff. And I had more stuff than, than I would realize that it was gone. And I say, man, ain't that a lesson to where you got to watch people and you got to know and understand human nature. And that's why I share what I share. And I teach what I teach. It's not to say that there's no hope for love. There's no hope for a happy relationship. There's no hope for a man to be faithful because I'm living proof of it. That a man can be faithful. That a marriage can be completely 100% happy. I'm living proof of that. But what I'm saying is, there's going to be a separation between the real and the fake. There's going to be a separation between those walking by faith and those walking by fear. 
you got to have faith over fear and you got to understand that so understand when i share what i share it's to empower you through enlightenment so now when you are enlightened you can take that be confident that when you go into the dating world and you sitting there and you on a date and you getting to know this person now you know the red flags now you know the red flag so when you see because in the past before you got the knowledge a man may do something and if you had not been enlightened informed then you don't know that that's a red flag but after being informed now you're like oh that's what that mean when he says he gonna call me at nine and I don't hear from him until the next day when he's at work and he's done this three or four times so he ain't just falling asleep all the time I've been giving him too much credit mm. that's what that means when he yelling at me cursing at me he tested me to see how much he can get away with you ain't just angry you trying me to see how much I'm gonna put up with. See, now that's how you use the knowledge. You take the knowledge and you use it that way so now you understand what he trying to do. And that's the knowledge about anything in life, you know, that I'm speaking on. So don't get discouraged or be worried because cream rise to the top. So what that mean is, if it's any getting to be got, you're going to be one, the one to get it because you got the knowledge. Just like in anything in life, whoever knows the most about a situation that you enter, that's who's going to survive. That's who's going to win. The Bible say my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. See, what you don't know can hurt you. But you got to hear it in a different way. And that's what a lot of people don't understand is when you get this knowledge, now you know. Now you are informed. So when you see something that don't line up, now you know how to, instead of react to it, you can respond to it. Because you already saw it in your mind before it happened. See, a reaction is negative. A response is positive. And that's what you got to realize that that is what knowledge does for you. It gives you the opportunity to respond to the situations that you're confronted with in life. Instead of you being fearful, fearing the unknown, being caught off guard, being scared even more, and then you're in a place to where over and over and over you're the victim instead of the victor. Instead of winning the situation, instead of being able to walk away with your pride, with your dignity, with your self-respect, your self-love still intact, you find yourself stuck and settling. And when you settle, you start to sink. And that's what you got to understand about this here. So, hey, you know, like my dad used to tell me, don't get mad, scratch your booty and get glad. You got to take and, and use it and listen to me. You can't ever argue with somebody about their truth. I don't argue with nobody about their truth. Okay, that's what you believe. Okay, go right ahead. Go right ahead. That's the same way you got to treat me because you can't change the way I think about my life as a man dealing with women coming from being a player you're not going to be able to convince me about, about men because I've been a man all my life. I've been around men behind the scenes in the trenches all my life. So a woman never going to be able to convince me and tell me, oh, this is how men really are. Tony, that is not true about men. The way men really are, I'm like, okay, the when last time you had one of these swinging between your legs? Okay, when the last time you was in a locker room with 95 football players? Okay, when the last time you was in a locker room 
with a basketball team. Okay, when the last time you was in the barbershop getting your fade full of men? Oh, all right. When the last time you was a man? Oh, never? So, oh, so you telling me about a man? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, sister, go right ahead. Go right ahead, sister, with that right there. That's what you, all right. That's what you think. Go right ahead. You see what I'm saying? I don't argue about my truth. And you ain't got to argue about your truth. You ain't got to debate about the truth because the truth going to prove itself. And I'm going to tell you, I've been doing this so long. I've been doing this. I've been doing this since the 10th grade. What I'm doing on this YouTube, what I do on YouTube, I've been doing it since the 10th grade. Because God called me to level the playing fields so that we could have healthy households, healthy marriages. Because that's the foundation of the world. That's the foundation of the world. See, it's a lot of men focus on money, focus on investing. You go to a lot of YouTube channels, they telling you how to get money, how to invest how to make money in real estate, how to make money with Bitcoin, how to make money on the stocks. That's what 99% of men focused on. So God had to raise up a few men to say, listen, that ain't the only thing that's important in life. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man I need you to understand the foundation of life and that's human relation between a man and a woman because that's the only relation that reproduces life. See, when a man gets with a woman and he marries her and they become active in that bedroom, that reproduces life and that moves the world forward. Without that healthy relation, now, the relation between mother and father, father and child, mother and child, if the relationship between the two that made the child is not healthy, that child is going to have an uphill climb. The chances of that child being healthy and whole and happy are is reduced greatly due to the fact that that child's mother and father could not get along, did not know how to relate, was trying to have a relationship, but didn't understand the root word, relate. You can't have a relationship if you cannot relate. And so that's why God raising up a few men like myself. I, I ain't seen a woman that, that's teaching on love relationships in a healthy way. I've seen some bitter women that's been hurt and that's been dogged out that's teaching women how to scam men and get money out of men, but I have I have not seen a, a woman relationship coach that's teaching in a healthy way about, you know, healthy relation with men. I've heard some women talking about some women saying you know, how to cater to a man and all of that, and that ain't right, so I don't know. I know what I'm here to do, what I'm called to do. I really, I, I don't watch nobody else, to be honest with you. I've heard about people when y'all tell me about certain people, but I don't, I don't care to hear about people, and I don't care to watch people because my eyes on the throne, my eyes on, the, on, on God's prize, on the mark of the high calling. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on God's work. But I just need you to understand that I'm here to bring the enlightenment that God has given me to be able to articulate what I've experienced. Because, see, a lot of everybody go through something. But it's one thing to go through it. It's another thing to look back and understand. The hindsight can be 2020. It's another thing to look back and understand it and then articulate it so that other people don't have to fall in the pits that you fell in. So understand that. Change your mindset. Don't be depressed. Be hopeful. Don't be sad. Get glad. Don't feel down. Feel empowered. You got to shift your mindset, and that's going to determine what and who you attract in your life because you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. You attract what you become. So, hey, 
It's Tony Gas. I got to get back to my peace. God bless you. We'll talk soon.